Whoa. This is the entrance in the side of a hill. If I wasn't looking for this thing, I never would have found it. I can't wait to see what's inside. Let's check it out. Very dark, very spooky. And that means fun. Need my flashlight? Let's have a look inside. This is gonna be great. You like this musty smell. Like a catacomb. Wow, this floor is highly unstable. <laughs> this is the bathroom. Toilet paper is still on the toilet paper holder. Incredible. Oh. Whoa. What is this? Huh. This looks like some kind of communication station. Wow. Look at all these thousands of wires. Who knows where they go? One building that uh, you find on most of the forts is what's called a protected telephone switchboard building. Well, once those were abandoned and they were no longer ventilated and maintained, they got very damp and the floor started to rot and eventually the floors collapse. And so if you walk into those buildings, if you're not careful, you step along and drop down 10 feet into what was the lower level of the, the telephone switchboard building. But there's more to explore. So let's get going. This is why we're here. Battery Foot, built in 1942. A state-of-the-art facility. Well, we worked pretty hard trying to hide them during the war. We had a civilian air patrol flew photographic missions uh, to try to prove that we had camouflaged the force. This seems to be some type of generator room, maybe to light up this whole facility. It is so large, you could probably drive a truck down the middle of the hallways here. You could feel the energy. I wonder what it was like back in the 40s when these men were walking through the halls here trying to defend our country. You could feel the clamminess and the wetness and the condensation in the room. Here we are at the end of this long, dark tunnel. Just found this ladder. Looks like it's been around here forever. Look how it's deteriorating. Well, it, it seems like we've come to uh, a steel door. A uh, very old door, deteriorated, very rusty. I'm gonna see if I can pry it open. <sighs> this is very eerie and exciting at the same time. I won't need this anymore. Well, as you can see, after 65 years of overgrowth, our view is pretty much obscured. But if you can only imagine, back then, these men sending the coordinates down to the plotting room, the plotting room sending the exact range to fire on that vessel, man, I'd hate to be the captain of that ship.